Nanny Doss, born Nancy Hazel in Blue Mountain, Alabama, on November 4, 1905, had a seemingly unremarkable and humble upbringing. She grew up in a rural southern family, one of five children, in a household marked by poverty and instability. Her father, James Hazel, was a stern and abusive man, and her mother, Lou, often struggled to maintain order in the chaotic household. Nanny's tumultuous family life, marked by violence and instability, had a profound impact on her. She sought solace in reading romance novels, often escaping into the world of fiction to cope with the harsh reality of her upbringing. These novels fueled her fantasies of romance and idealized relationships, setting the stage for her later disturbing actions. At the age of 16, Nanny married her first husband, Charles Braggs. Their marriage was characterized by discord, and Nanny later claimed that she had married him because he was a nice-looking man who could sweep me off my feet. However, their union was anything but a fairy tale, marked by arguments and violence. It wasn't long before Nanny's dark tendencies began to emerge. In the early 1920s, tragedy struck Nanny's family when her two middle daughters died under mysterious circumstances. She attributed their deaths to food poisoning, which raised suspicions within her community. Nevertheless, no concrete evidence of foul play was found, and the deaths went uninvestigated. Nanny's first husband, Charles Braggs, also met an untimely death during this period, reportedly from an illness with symptoms that mirrored arsenic poisoning. Strangely, Nanny collected a life insurance payout following his death. Her second marriage to Frank Harrelson in 1929 followed a similar pattern as he died suddenly, and she collected another insurance payout. Nanny's murders were not limited to her husband's. In 1945, her mother Lou also succumbed to an unexplained illness. Nanny's son, Robert, was the next victim, dying mysteriously in 1945 as well. These deaths were typically attributed to common ailments, allowing Nanny to escape suspicion. Despite the growing body count surrounding her, Nanny Doss managed to evade the law and continue her murderous spree for decades. Her cheerful demeanor and the perception of her as a loving mother and wife helped her maintain a facade of normalcy, even as she secretly committed heinous crimes. By the 1950s, Nanny Doss had relocated to various states, including Oklahoma, North Carolina, Kansas, and Alabama. She continued her pattern of marrying and then murdering her husbands, all while presenting herself as a devoted wife and mother. Her husbands often died from what appeared to be stomach issues or heart problems, which were often difficult to trace back to foul play. This allowed her to accumulate life insurance money from each of her deceased spouses. In 1952, Nanny married her fifth husband, Samuel Doss, in North Carolina. Samuel would prove to be the catalyst for her eventual downfall. He fell seriously ill, experiencing severe stomach pains and nausea. Doctors treating Samuel became suspicious when they discovered traces of arsenic in his system. Remarkably, Samuel survived the poisoning attempt and informed the authorities about his wife's actions. Following Samuel's revelation, an investigation into Nanny's past was initiated, revealing a trail of suspicious deaths and marriages. Law enforcement officials began to piece together the grim puzzle of her life. Interviews with those close to Nanny revealed a chilling pattern of behavior. She was described as emotionally distant, often displaying a sinister sense of humor, which earned her the nickname, The Giggling Granny. In 1955, Nanny Doss was arrested, and during her trial, she confessed to killing 11 people, including four husbands, her mother, and her grandson. She showed little remorse for her actions, and even claimed that she killed because she found comfort in the deaths of her victims. Nanny's confessions painted a picture of a remorseless serial killer who had managed to evade justice for decades. In December 1955, Nanny Doss was convicted of murder and sentenced to life in prison. Her story captivated the nation, with media outlets dubbing her the Giggling Granny and the Jolly Black Widow due to her seemingly cheerful demeanor in court. 
Nanny Doss spent the remainder of her life behind bars, where she continued to display her unsettling sense of humor. She died in the Oklahoma State Penitentiary on June 2, 1965, at the age of 59. Her life and crimes remain a chilling example of a seemingly ordinary person harboring a dark and deadly secret. Nanny Doss's story serves as a haunting reminder that evil can lurk behind even the most ordinary and unassuming facades. <laughs>